Welcome to Nicholas Lemnex 12. Today I'm looking at the Samsung SSD 850 Evo 120GB SSD. Yes, I am aware this drive has been out for quite a while now, but just recently I've been given the option to test this 850 Evo out myself. It was part of the storage package Digitrade has sent me with their hip disk external USB 3.0 hard drive enclosure. The 850 Evo currently costs around 70 US dollars, which is a fairly decent price, although there are cheaper ones available as well, with a capacity of 120GB. Thanks a lot to Digitrade for sending me this SSD. And the packaging, the SSD itself, the installation guide, the warranty statement summary and the software CD. The Samsung SSD 850 Evo is available in 120, 250, 500 gigabyte as well as in 1 and 2 terabyte versions and is based on Samsung's VNAND flash memory. The SSD 850 Evo is available in three different form factors, 2.5 inch, MSATA and M.2. I'm testing the 2.5 inch version here today. The thickness is at just 7 millimeters, and the weight should that even matter, about 66 grams. As for the interface, it's SATA 6 gigabit per second, which is backwards compatible with older SATA generations. According to Samsung, we should be expecting sequential read and write speeds of up to 540 and 520 megabytes per second, respectively. The power consumption on average should be at roughly 5 watts. Samsung backs this SSD up with a long 5 year warranty. When it comes to aesthetics, I've always been a fan of Samsung's fairly simple and minimalistic approach on their SSDs. It's all nicely black and grey here and the metal casing only adds to the premium impression. But how well does this 850 Evo do in benchmarks as well as in real life scenarios such as a cold Windows 10 boot? Let's find out! The Samsung SSD 850 EVO is a very good SSD, no doubt. However, it's not really a special drive in the market these days. There hardly are any performance improvements to tell, not even compared to its predecessor, the 840 EVO. Still, the 850 EVO is a solid choice, but there certainly are SSDs out there with a better price performance ratio. Times have changed and so have the prices of solid state drives these days. And while the price is fairly reasonable, nonetheless, in my opinion, Samsung should start adapting to the lower pricing of the many computers heating drives in the market, hopefully without sacrificing too much quality. The sequential read and write as well as the boot up and startup speeds are top notch, but so are the ones of the cheaper drives. With that said, I can definitely recommend the Samsung SSD 850 EVO 120GB SSD. It's still getting my silver award, but it almost would have been the bronze one. Very close to bronze, actually. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit my website to sometimes see videos there earlier.